the Kingwood Mustangs and the Rockwall Yellow Jackets doing battle in game three of this best of three game series with a right to play in the regional final. Here are the highlights. A fair amount of interested spectators, including the Woodlands coaching staff led by Richard Jorgensen, the 10th ranked team in the nation, the Highlanders were awaiting the winner. The first two games of the series were split with only seven runs scored between the two teams. Game three featured more than double that. Top second now, Rockwall's Bailey Wallace hits a fly ball that lands just in front of the Mustangs, Krista Frentino. Ariana Zerniel tries to gun out the runner at third, but throws it away, allowing two runs to score, and it was three nothing Yellow Jackets, lead Rockwall head coach Shady Acosta knew would not last long. We knew then not to sit on it. We we talked about being relentless and didn't just going after it and trying to capitalize and we still left runners hanging. The Mustangs had chances early in the game to score as they loaded up the bases in the bottom of the second and third, but they only managed a pair of runs off Yellow Jacket mistakes. In the second, pitcher Kayla Vandergriff walked Alex Cologne to force home Abby Olnazak. In the third, Rockwall catcher Haley Baker tried to pick off Lindsey Gregory at third, but the wild throw goes into left field. Gregory scores, and that cut the deficit to 4-2 to two after three innings. Bottom of the fourth now, and Kingwood again loads the bases without the ball leaving the infield. This time, though, the bats would wake up with two outs. Georgie Gonzalez, who had the winning RBI in game one, smacked a two-run single to left. A bad throw from the outfield allowed a third runner to step on home plate, and Kingwood took the lead at 5-4. Vandergriff rattled by the Mustangs' bats would get hit again. Ali Gonzalez smacked the triple over the head of the right fielder to bring home Gonzalez, and the Mustangs' lead grew to 6-4 to four after four innings. Our team has a lot of heart. As you can see, we don't give up. We come back and fight, so they just showed that I mean, they wanted it today. It just didn't work out for us. When some teams give up a big inning and the lead, they go into scramble mode and can't come back. Acosta said the Mustang rally actually helped her team out. Having them come back on the board and, and, and get a lead on of us a leap on us really put more fire under their butts and, and really just showed a lot of maturity in their ability to come back. Rockwall fans beat the war drums and the percussional beat worked as the Yellow Jackets bat stung the Mustangs multiple times in the fifth inning. Bases loaded now with one run already in. Baker hit a routine ground ball to short. Gregory throws home to cut down the runner scoring, but Cologne can't handle the throw. E2 allowing the run to score and the game was knotted up at six. Very next batter, Alyssa Henry looped the yellow circular object into left center field for a base hit, scoring Emily Cowan to give Rockwall the lead. Cowan would come up bigger later in the game. Ensuing batter, Bailey Wallace lines a hit into left field just in front of the left fielder's glove. Two Yellow Jackets score and the damage is done. Five runs gave Rockwall a 9-6 lead. I fouled off the first inside pitch and I've been taking that pitch all game and that's like the pitch that I hit. I knew it was coming again and I swung as hard as I could. Kingwood skipper Lauren Hendricks in disbelief like the fans wearing the light blue. After allowing only 10 hits in the first two games of the series, Kingwood gave up 16 hits in game three, including three to both Henry and Wallace. That's what happened. They came back just like we did. They can hit too. They're a good team. As for the war drum, well, it just kept on beating. Shady Acosta went to the bullpen and brought in Emily Cowan to pitch. After scoring six runs off Vandergriff, the junior allowed only two base runners over the final three innings. It was just jacket fight. We just had to do it. We just knew we had to go on and we had a pitching change and that was good because it gave them something new to look at and they weren't ready to adjust to it. And then our bats came in behind us and we just got through it. Yellow Jacket fans so excited at advancing that once hair catches on fire. Well, not quite, but for Kingwood, the offense was snuffed out in the seventh. Cowan gets Lacey Gregory to fly out to right center field for the 20th out. Hendricks still hoping for a rally, but Cologne hits a grounder to short. Dammy Greenlee with a routine put out and Rockwall puts out the defending regional champions in three games, winning 0-1, 4-2, and 9-7. The Woodlands coaching staff already preparing for Rockwall as the teams will face off for the first time ever with a trip to the 5A Final Four on the line. Once you see them, you know, Rockwall seems to have their, they play hard, they're a good team, the pitching's really good, so we're gonna have our work cut out for us. They're a great program and we've never played, so we don't have a history, so we're looking forward to meeting them next week. Meanwhile, a lonely batting helmet sits alone in the dirt, knowing it's no longer needed this season for Kingwood. I couldn't be more proud of the girls, and we're really going to miss our seniors. Unfortunately, they came out on top today. Reporting from Cedar Ridge High School in Round Rock, Jeff Power, Max Prep Sports, your leader in online high school sports content.